eating in London, uh, the most difficult part uh, is number one, to choose because there are just too many choices. Number two is to get a table because all the good ones are always fully booked. Okay, the local London brands. Mm. And one of the London brands that you have to try is Fonum and Mason. Fonum and Mason. Since 1707, okay? Don't pay pay. And I tell you, this uh, particular brand, they sell a lot, a lot of different types of high quality tea and their jam is one of the most popular items in this shop. Try their chocolates during Christmas. This place is so beautiful. All the candies, all the boxes, you know, all the decorative items. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. You know where you find this jam? It's at the basement. <laughs> they how, also have so. How many levels are there? Oh, they are by like five levels. Spread joy. <laughs> yeah, so cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also, I tell you, on the highest floor, I think it's on the fifth floor, that's mm. where you can have high tea. Mm. And their high tea oh, is very atas one there. Okay. Last time used to be serving the royal family one, no? I also want to tell you something. Mm. Uh. Uh, this is something uh, that only <coughs> after I experience, right? You know, uh, there's no time limit for you to have your high tea or your mm. afternoon tea. But if you intend to go to stay there for very long, because you can keep changing different kind of tea, you know? Like the yeah. first tea that I had was Royal Blend. Mm. The second uh, pot of tea I had was uh, Earl Grey. Then uh, when I wanted to order my third pot, right? They said, sorry, I cannot serve you anymore. You know why? Because I gave Kiang, I went to go and pay money first. They say uh, the moment you settle the bill, right? The account closed, they cannot serve you any more tea. So if you intend to go and stay there long and enjoy all the different, different types of tea, make sure uh, you only make payment uh, when you decided to leave, okay? The rest of the uh, scones are all refillable, like buffet. Yeah. Okay, well, quite worth it. Well. Then you know what I refill? I refill jam. Uh. <laughs> Have you tried the jam? No, I haven't. I had the strawberry jam. How was champagne. it? Champagne, eh? Nice. Okay, I want to try, I want to try. I haven't tried yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, 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 try. Okay, I want to try. The jam, right, it's, it's properly set. It's not like those kind of loose, uh, watery jams that you get. It's some very cheap jam. Huh? This one, wow. It's really a jelly. Good, ah. Uh. Wait, I haven't tried yet. I haven't tried yet, no. I, you see, I brought all the way there uh, with love and hearts. You can really taste the champagne in there. And it's like fresh strawberries that they're not really fresh but like real strawberry they don't use fake flavorings or whatever wow okay it feels like a strawberry farm in a pub <laughs> wow drunken strawberry it's a drunken strawberry mm. oh very nice it's not an ordinary strawberry jam okay mm, it's, it's a true. strawberry jam that will get you drunk it's a good jam wow very good thank you thank you for the jam we are in London now. <laughs> London? We are Londoners? Ma imagine London. <laughs> Visiting this famous celebrity chef restaurant. I'm sure you know him. Man. Who else? Ah? Gordon Ramsay. La. Yeah, la, I went to Gordon Ramsay and I had the most expensive burger of my life, okay? Oh my god, how much did you pay for it? 50 pounds. So it's almost 100 sing dollars. Eh. Because that restaurant name ah, is called Gordon Ramsay Burger. So must be good lah. It's of course you go into a burger shop, you must order burger. You don't uh. go to KFC or order burger and complain the burger not uh. nice, right? Or you go to a McDonald's and you complain the fried chicken not nice, right? So uh, I think I'm, I'm actually very, very fair uh, to say that I actually have high expectation on the burger mm. because this restaurant is supposed to specialize in burger. This burger is very interesting. It's called lobster and lobster burger. And then inside they have this piece of her kue. <laughs> it feels like it really like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cake. really like fish cake, like ota, you know, but it's like ota but not ota because it doesn't have the ota taste, but it's really like a piece of ota. And then they have some fresh uh, uh, lobster meat inside. Mm. Uh, and then comes with some fresh vegetable, including what chili is this? Yeah, it like this Mexican right? chili. Uh, yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So it has this very uh, I don't know how to describe. Okay, first of all, I think it's very messy to eat this burger because it's so huge. Yeah, I'm sorry to so, say it does look a bit messy. Yeah. It, sorry it's very Ramsey, messy. But, mm. but Gordon Ramsay, I'm so sorry. Tai Tai Chan not approve this burger. Not approved. No, more importantly, taste? No. Really? Yes. 
I don't know. It's like Why? everything is everywhere. It doesn't blend together as a whole. Like you know, when you eat a cheeseburger, you will feel that like you know the the, the cheese. You know, goes very well with the bread and then with the patty. You know, like you put inside your mouth, it's like one big explosion of flavor. Mm. But this one is like, I can taste the chili separately. Mm. I can taste the vegetables separately. I can taste the hukui separately. I can taste the lobster separately. I can taste the roti separately. It's like you just nyang put everything together, long. Better than Gordon Ramsay. Sorry, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> 100 times nicer. <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically, I went to this restaurant. This restaurant, uh, the burger and lobster, right? very cute one, uh, the mm. London one. They actually use the cage. Uh, you know the cage that where the fish, the fish, they call the fish, right? the fish monger. Yeah, like the, the, the fish basket. Uh. Uh, the fish bucket. Uh, you no, know, no, the, the catch the lobster. The catch the lobster, yeah. that cage, right? They use that cage uh, to decorate that restaurant one. Uh. They hang it on top, you know, very nice one. Eh? I've actually tried it in Singapore. I tried it in Thailand. The one at Raffles No, I went to Jewel. Okay, I went to okay. Jewel. I also tried it in uh, Bangkok before. I thought, like, you know, it should be the same, right? Or maybe equal, right? Wow, oh, really, huh? the one in London now is the next level one. So it's about 10 years ago. Uh, you know, this burger and lobster actually started uh, from uh, in a very small Irish pub. Mm. So their lobsters are all Irish lobsters. The one in UK especially. Mm. And I must tell you, I'm very, very impressed. I tell you all, when you go to this burger and lobster, you must order the calamari. Even the sotong, right, tastes different. After you eat the sotong, it's as if uh, the sotong is swimming inside your mouth. Uh, you mm. like you chi. Very, very sotongi. <laughs> Ah, that chew chew, the tickers, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's just that kind of taste, no? Very, very, very nice. It's like the best calamari I had. What is like such typical bar pub food? Did you go to the the? You know, there's this my favorite car show. It's like Top Gear, and then one of them, James May, actually opened his own British pub. Do you go that one? I went to one of the pub, but it may not be the pub that you, you said one. because okay. in London there's just too many. And mm -hmm. I tell you, all oh, the London pub very nice one. They're outside, all decorated with flowers. You thought it's a florist, you know? Then you walk here, you're Lim Chiu one. <laughs> The one that I went is called the Albert Pub. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's also quite a historically uh, recognized pub. And inside this pub, right, most of them will order uh, food like, for example, uh, fried uh, scampi, uh, scampi, fried scampi, and also uh, fish and chips. And fish and chips, they got two types. One, they have like the normal fish and chips, or they will ask you whether you want to upsize like to the to the like the giant one. So I had the giant one as usual because you know I, you know this time I just want to try more. one. But I think the drinks there is quite interesting. No, I must go la. I mean that is such an interesting. And you know I, I'm not I, I don't drink alcohol mm -hmm. right. But even uh, when you are not somebody who are into alcohol, you still can have a wide selection of choices of beverages like what you want to drink. You know, mm -hmm. even myself right, I actually had a cider, and it's like so nice. And uh, the cider is a I think it's a berry wild berry cider, very very delicious, and it goes so well with all the food. Wow, yeah, I'm so glad that uh, you went. You because definitely pubs, have to try a pub pubs food are like when you're such in. a such a cultural dining experience. Mm -hmm. you know? Because you know when you go all over the world, right? Irish pub it comes from there, right? You know English pub, That's British right. pub, gentleman's pub. Oh, correct. Then they just cheers with your friend, and then mm. then lim chui, lim chui now. <laughs> Take a very expensive London cap and go back home. <laughs> you know the London cap is the London cap is expensive, yeah. right? The London cap meter, oh, wow. I always say, oh, it actually, uh, the meter runs uh, as fast as my heartbeat. So, where are we going next? Japan. Taiwan. Korea. Thailand. Annyeonghaseyo! Holy <laughs> See you next time. See bye. you, bye!